Welcome back friends. Let's go over equivalent fractions with denominators of 10 and 100. Remember, the denominator is the bottom number of a fraction and represents the total pieces of a whole. Some denominators are multiples of each other and we can use them to help create equivalent fractions. For example, let's say Gil here swam for 5 tenths of the afternoon. If he wanted to report that time in hundredths, this is a pretty easy conversion to find the equivalent fraction. Here we have 5 tenths. We want the denominator to be 100. How do we get from 10 to 100? We multiply by 10. Whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. 10 times 10 equals 100, and 5 times 10 equals 50. 5 tenths is equivalent to 50 hundredths. We can think of this in reverse as well. Say we had 50 hundredths, and we want to know how many tenths that is. We set our new denominator to 10. How do we get from 100 to 10? We divide by 10. Whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. 100 divided by 10 is 10. 50 divided by 10 is 5. 50 hundredths is equivalent to 5 tenths. Okay, now that we've got the basics out of the way, let's dial it up a little bit. Let's say you have 45 hundredths, and we want to create an expression to represent the fraction. We can break 45 hundredths into 40 hundredths plus 5 hundredths. But wait, that's not all. We can also simplify 40 hundredths into 4 tenths, by dividing the numerator and denominator by 10. Now we have 4 tenths plus 5 hundredths. Even though the denominators are not the same, the expression represents the fraction because we could convert 4 tenths back to hundredths and add. Great work today. Have fun practicing.